because I studied in Medina in the city of the Prophet, the, the small, small things like even going to Haram, which is the Masjid Nabawi, and, and learning with the Mashayikh uh, in the evenings. So those are, I would say, small but impactful things that we get and we, we develop ourselves. My name is Mahmoud Matlub bin Siddiq. Ini kasih kita. Uh, my official occupation is uh, I'm a deputy director at uh, the office of Mufti. My mother was a homemaker, so my, my father was the sole breadwinner. He worked in, you know, back then there was this, it was no Singtel, it was Singapore Telecoms, if I'm not mistaken. So he worked as the sole breadwinner and there were only there were four of us and uh, I have uh, other siblings, three boys and one girl. So I think it was a, it was a modest living, but Alhamdulillah, it was, it was, I, w I suppose it was sufficient in many ways. From primary school, I, I was educated at uh, Westlake Primary School. Then I, I moved on and shifted to the, to the madrasa. Later on, uh, I did my, I mean, my O-levels and A-levels at Madrasa al Jinnah and Islamia. Uh, later on, I, I furthered my studies at uh, Islamic University of Medina. Uh, and I completed my master's at NTU NIE. Well, because I studied in Medina in the city of the Prophet, the, the small, small things like even going to Haram, which is the Masjid Nabawi, and, and learning with the Mashayikh uh, in the evenings. So those are, I would say, small but impactful things that we get and we, we develop ourselves. And I think it is also the experience with the, the Jama'a Haji, Jama'a Umrah, where we, we can help and contribute. Uh, it's not so much so about you know uh, making money. That, that gives a sense of satisfaction because that is, uh, I would say, um, uh, part of the community and how, how you contribute back to the community. And al although it is a small community of uh, the pilgrims, but uh, it gives a sense of satisfaction. It's not in my wildest, wildest dream to, to be the principal of Madras Health Unit. Uh, it is an institution built or established in 1927. It's almost like a 100-year institution. So it was a privilege for me. But at the same time, it was, it was an amana. And it was going through changes in terms of education. I thought at that point in time, uh, Algerian was introducing was or IB, uh, International Baccalaureate. I mean, to have a traditional school, a madrasa or pesantren, and to offer that IB program, I would say that's, that's an achievement, a testament of, of the school itself and to the community itself. It was brave enough to make those decisions. Uh, small steps, but important steps in ensuring that we preserve our uh, religious institutions, not only preserving that, but strengthen and developing it further. Mm -hmm. I, I, th I think LBKM not only made impact in my life, but the lives of many, many individuals in the community. I think it's not so much so the the... The, the value of the scholarship, you know, uh, the amount itself, what I mean, but the value it, it, it keeps behind it, it is really a kind of a, an impetus or a nudging you to, to, to seek knowledge, to make yourself better, to make yourself, your community, your family better. And one of the ways is through education. So I thought that is a key message that LBKM has successfully done. And if you look at that, it goes back also to the the basic tenets of the region itself. La. The, the first revelation, Iqra. It is a community which prides itself in education, in developing institutions, not only for our generation, but for future generations. Learning brotherhood, kindness movement. It's basically lifelong learning uh, and you create that that fraternity of learners, uh, and it shows the the kindness not only of the you know you have people who provided the funds, but also the 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 kindness of the community itself. It wants to ensure the best for the current generation and also for future generations. So that's what I I see. It's, it's a a kind of a, a learning lifelong learning brotherhood, and it's a kindness movement. Thank you, donors. I think. Many of us won't achieve what we've achieved today without your sincere and kind contributions. And we hope, and we certainly hope that many of uh, you out there can contribute to LBKM as we strive to develop uh, a generation of learners, people who yearn for knowledge, and as we strive to build a community of success for Singapore 
and beyond, inshallah.